dust off. <laughs> Let me dust off the car. I keep getting pop-ups. I am on my way to work. Um, so I figured, I don't know, I just woke up. Well, I went to bed. I, I, I went to bed last night. I just woke up. But I went to bed last night and I said, you know what? I miss my friends. I miss vlogging. I miss my YouTube. And I, 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 I just, I miss, I miss you guys. So, aloha. Aloha Friday. Um, on my way to work. My other work. I have so many work that it's not even funny. But this is something that I went back into. And now, like I said, I went to bed and I said, I miss, I miss you guys. I miss my channel. I miss doing what I used to do. And I never did this for views, even though, you know, I have become very, in my own opinion, I, it's been a successful channel for me because I can only give what I can give. And I get so much back in return from it. Uh, whether it's a monthly paycheck that I've been getting since 2010, <laughs> uh, I've been very blessed with this side hustle. Uh, along with um, companies sending me items and, and, and such, free items to test out. So I have, I have been very blessed uh, with this channel and I haven't been a part of this channel for like two years now because of medical issues. And, um, and I couldn't do the channel because of my other job. <laughs> my full-time job not this job the other job that doesn't allow other jobs but youtube is not really like another job but they don't understand that all they know is that it's another job because i get a paycheck right but youtube is something that you're there when you can be there which is why youtube is such an amazing amazing opportunity uh for anyone to be able to have an extra income, it's especially with the world that we're living in now where everything costs so much. I bought one red onion for $4.54. And I bought it because the recipe called for it. Oh my gosh. Just like how I have not been <laughs> vlogging. It's like, I gotta, I gotta dust off my skills. I'm also gonna dust off my vehicle. I'm sorry, friends, but I'm driving to work and this is what I used to be able to do is just vlog whenever I can. So see, I'm rambling, but it's okay. You guys know I ramble. I just speak what I think comes out. But I missed you. I missed you, okay? So there it goes. I missed you guys so much. I feel like I, I lost so much friends. Not because of views or likes or whatever. It's just I feel like I neglected my friends. And I honestly have felt bad about that. And it's not about getting more people it's just like because I'm crazy I like to talk <laughs> and I don't like to talk to person to person interaction so much as much as the camera I don't know. I'm crazy let's just put it there <laughs> I've always thought I had a little <clears throat> crazy side but my whole family knows I'm crazy <sighs> I say fun they say crazy but hey you know Everybody has different views. But, um, where am I? Okay, I'm driving. And I drive like a grandma. And, <laughs> every, and I'm driving hubby's truck. And I've told you guys this five years ago. Nope, we got this truck. When did we get this truck? We're 2022. Seven years ago. And I told you guys when I first drove hubby's truck back then, I said, I don't know how to drive it. Seven years later, <laughs> I don't know how to drive it. <laughs> Nothing changes with me. But anywho, okay, I am on my way. Okay, remember when I started YouTube back in 2010? It was because I did it for families over here in Washington just to be able to see what we're doing. It was a way of, for us to con connect and communicate with our friends and family here. Then we moved back to Washington in 2015. And then two years after that, or was it a year and a half after that, I got my job, which is customer service. And I swear, friends, I, don't, I can't say I love my job. 
I, I have my job because it pays the bills. You know what I mean? It, it pays, it literally pays the bills. So I, I keep it and I try to hold my shit together and not lose my shit every day. But customer service is a very, very hard job. So if you guys work in customer service and you don't lose your shit, I give you so much props because it takes, it takes thick skin. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. If there's like a weird pause in the video, it's because I, you know how Kim Kardashian cries? She ugly cries? Okay, I ugly sneeze. So just putting it out there. So if there's a big pause. I can feel it, like it's tickling the inside of my nose. Where was I? Okay, you know how, oh no, I said about Kim Kardashian. Totally forgot where I was going with that. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know how to drive the car, the truck still. So, oh yeah, I took my other job. Okay, I got my, <laughs> I got my full-time job that pays the, you know, the bills and has benefits and all that stuff. You know, something that you, it's like a relationship where you're kind of stuck with it because you've invested so much time and energy into it. And like, you want to see it all the way through. Even though there are days that you're like, I quit. I just want to quit. And you can't because you're committed. All right, so that's, that's the job that stopped me from, oh, Popo that stopped me from doing YouTube two years ago because two years ago is when I had um, medical issues. I started with medical issues and I had to be on medical leave. And when you're on medical leave, you're, you know, medical leave, paperwork things that like, okay, she's on medical leave. So she's kind of bedridden all day, every day. She should not be doing anything. She should not travel. She should not, um, be doing videos on YouTube because yeah, she should be bedridden, right? Well, medical leave is so much more than that. <laughs> I was on medical leave because of my leg. I, I had, I, I was in so much chronic pain with my, oh, hello friends, with my legs, uh, my left leg. So they ended up um, doing surgery on it. What had happened was, I don't know if I've ever shared this, but hey, I'm on my way to work. I'm gonna upload while I'm working on my other job, which I still have yet to tell you guys. But um, um, they, okay, so the doctor goes, I'm gonna have to chisel, chisel, C-H-I-S-E-L. See, I don't even know how to spell. Um, the bone off so basically over time in the course of he said maybe it's been in the course of 20 years that that bone has been growing and growing and growing and finally it's grown so much that it was rubbing against a tendon which as soon as it started rubbing against the tendon is when I started having such chronic pain so that was two years ago friends go grab coffee wine what have you because you're in for a ride. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna blabber away. Um, so then we did that. Then six months later, I was still on medical leave. No, no, no. I was on medical leave, yes. No, no, no. I wasn't on medical leave. I was on leave of absence because of the pandemic. Because this was, what, 20, 2020? Yeah, 2020. Okay, I was, in the, I was on a leave of absence. And... And during that leave of absence, no, 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 I went back to work. Oh boy. Um, and then I started having pains on my hands. So this is after the, the surgery of my leg. I, I was on a leave of absence, I totally forgot. I was on a leave of absence, went back to work, and then I started having so much sharp pains on my hand, and it was on this hand. Like, I literally felt like my hand was inside a boiling pot of hot oil. So, okay, so they did some testing. It turns out that I had severe carpal tunnel on this, on this hand. Okay, so they scheduled the surgery for that. And then, out of nowhere, within two weeks, three weeks maybe, that same pain was on to this hand. I, I swear, friends, I'm broken. I'm old and broken. So then I had bilateral carpal tunnel surgery. This one was very severe that I had no feeling. Like it was numb. Like, like these fingers were numb. This one, I could feel a little bit. So anyways, they did the surgery. Um, as you guys can see, 
just a little mark. That surgery happened. I still felt pain after a few months, but now it's been almost, oh, it's been a year. Has it been a year? Almost a year? I'm off of my timetable, so excuse me, but totally healed. Like, I feel so much better now. It's like as, as it progresses, it's just healed so much better. So I don't have any issues uh, as far. I do use those um, orthopedic, is it orthopedic? You know, those special keyboards and a special uh, table, because I work from home from my first job, that goes up and down and then the mouse, so it raises the hands. I do need to get a special chair though, but okay. Back to today. <laughs> no, not back to today. Fast forward to today. Oh my God, 11 minutes. Oh my God, I only need five more minutes and I can upload. Okay, so I went back to work knowing that I may not be able to do that work because all I do is just friends. I work from home, I sit down, it's customer service and it is into the industry of, ooh, I guess airline? Or transportation is the word for it, okay? It's a transportation, public transportation industry. And things happen with weather and all that stuff. And, you know, people get so mad at you and yell at you as if you done canceled everything. As if, I'm like, sometimes this is what I say. <clears throat> my customer service hat <laughs> they're like yelling right i go ma'am i'm so sorry i can protect you for this i can do this for you i do apologize that you had a schedule change and <laughs> yelling i go no ma'am i did not cancel it i would not do that intentionally to ruin your vacation i understand that your time is valuable families is valuable i i had no control over that no ma'am i did not do this i do not own the airline or the aircraft i that's when i kind of you know what i mean it's like you put you get blamed for things even though i'm like ma'am this is way above my pay grade ma'am sir i'm sorry <laughs> anyways knowing that I still had my um, my license, my real estate license. And so I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I can sit down for eight or 10 hours a day, you know, a full time to be able to do this job. I guess I love it. Ooh, I guess I love it. I'll just say I love it, just in case they're listening. But um, no, I enjoy it as long as they're nice. But when they're mean, oh, I cry, friends. Oh, I'm not, I am the biggest baby you will ever meet when it concerns people yelling at me for something that I had no control over. Because I already know, I already know I'm not the smartest cookie in the cookie jar. I know that, I accept that. And I am nice, you know, I make friends, but there are times when I lose my shit because of the fact that I can't work with STUPID. I can't, I can't. There's nothing you can do sometimes. I shouldn't be saying this. Maybe I just edited it out. But um, anywho, I went back to real estate. I had, well, I didn't really go back to it because you know, it's just been always been a part of me since 2008, right? I just never tell you guys what I do, but now this is all I do. So now I'm on, I'm on my way to work to do real estate. And I only do real estate, in case my first job is listening, I only do real estate on my time off of my regular job. So it's morning, I don't work until this afternoon at 3.30. And so I do, like, it's my free time, right? I can do whatever I want from now until 3.30. So this is what I do, friends. I am a realtor into the Seattle area. So if you know anyone that's moving, um, let me know, because I've been here. Ah! Uh, I have been back in Washington since 2015. And I before I, um, even though I had my license, I wanted to get to know the area, even though I did it back in California since 2000. A, no, I'm sorry. I, I started doing real estate uh, 2006. Um, I wanted to get to know the area because I cannot, I'm a very OCD person. 
I can't give it my all unless I know what I'm doing, okay? Which is why I haven't been doing videos with you guys for two, oh shoot, okay, I'm going to the, not the office, I'm going floor duty. Okay, because we have two offices. So I wanted to get to know the area. Um, now I feel like I'm confident into like the areas of Seattle, North Seattle, South Seattle, downtown Seattle. So I love it. I have been enjoying this so much and I love the office that I'm in because I chose, um, I could have gone to four other offices. This was, this wasn't even my number one office. Uh, but the way that the brokers, the managing brokers had interviewed me, I really loved it because they focused on training. They, they are very strict on agents attending meetings. And I don't know if you guys have um, background in real estate or friends that, that, that ever did real estate. We have, back in my old office, we had, um, ooh, wrong turn, but it's okay. We would have like 150 agents, right? None of them ever went to the office. Like, when I say none of them, because I went to the office every Wednesday, and that's all we were, we did was back in the office was, you know, Wednesday for meetings. And during those meeting, meetings, we would see about maybe 40, 40 on a good day. What happened to the other 110? They don't, they don't go to the office. They don't learn new items. They don't learn new contracts and contracts and, you know, rules and regulations and um, things change. Oh, there's my office. Um, so if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Diane Miller Realtor, I believe is my name. Is it called handle? <laughs> I don't do social media too well. But friends, guess what? I have talked your ear off. It's 17 minutes. Okay, I might have to edit because I like to stay under 16. Okay, oh my goodness. Um, all right, I'm going to go into the office. I'm going to get settled in. I'm going to do an unboxing of my uh, Gucci bag that I got over in Hawaii when I went there for my birthday last month that I still have not unboxed. Okay, hold on friends, hold on to your pantalones because, okay, I wish that the truck had um, backup camera, like my car. Ooh. Okay, I can do this, safe. Friends, it was so nice ch chatting with you. I know it made no sense. It makes sense to me when I'm talking, but we all know I have issues, but, um, bottom line i miss you i really do i miss um i miss doing these kind of videos with you guys oh look i have a dress even though it's october in seattle area um but i'm really i'm really glad that i'm doing this uh real estate up again it's because one i really enjoyed it and two it's just i can't i can't control what people are gonna say or do I can just do what makes me happy, what I'm comfortable with, and what works for my family, for my husband, for my kids. Um, and I shouldn't be afraid of the first job and, and not doing the things that makes me happy just because I feel like, oh, they're gonna let me go, they're gonna fire me. So if they fire me, hey, you know, I, I, I'm I really good at my job over at my first job. So I hope they don't fire me because, you know, I hope not pays the bills but anywho i'm gonna edit this i'm gonna go in there and then i'm gonna start sharing my life with you guys whether you're ready for it or not because i missed you i missed you friends aloha friends all right bye bye all right friends i am into my office my second job office and i'm about to do an unboxing for you guys i'm gonna add this on to the video i'm here until two if you want to come by and visit me um Mill Creek, Washington. Oh, you guys, I'm going to tell you where I'm at all the time. Uh, Mill Creek, Washington, Town Center. We have two offices. So, your girl is hustling it. Everyday hustler. But, um, I'm going to put you guys on because I need to put my lipstick. And you guys know, I hardly put any makeup on. Which I need to. 
But girl, this girl ain't got no time. Okay? No time. I swear, I just put... I, I put a little bit of um, like the three in one because everything is supposed to be included. And then I just dab. And then I just, my girls uses my um, my good makeup because I, I, I literally have no time. How is it? How is it? Okay. Maybe for the, for the video, this is why it's so hard for me to, have, um, to be doing video because I have to be pretty. Like pretty in front of the camera. And you guys know I don't do pretty too well. Okay, what about this one? And I love these um, lipstick. Um, this is, I think it's Meilani. I think it's what it's called. Teddy, I'm also blind. Teddy Bear, B-A-R-E. Excuse me, friends. I'm gonna need you to stay still. I miss you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick video. I'm gonna upload this. I talk too much in the car. This is just one minute and 53 seconds. This is gonna be two minutes, 30 seconds. But I have had this since I went to Hawaii for my birthday and Danica's birthday back in August, like third week of August. We are now October. I have not opened it. I have not seen this baby since we were at the store. I believe I posted it on Instagram, okay? Today, here at my second job, I'm gonna do an unboxing for you guys um, on a separate video because I need content. I need content for my channel. If you guys wanna, this is my business card. I hope it's going right. Friends, okay? Think of me as a matchmaker for your friends or family that are thinking of selling their home or buying their home. I don't have to represent them. You just come to me and say, Diane, I have my, my best friend that is wanting to sell her house in Tennessee. Diane, how can you do that? Cause like you're in, you're in Seattle, right? How, why would you? Because I am part of the relocation program to where I can go in there and look for the top agents in Tennessee for your best friend, because we want to make sure that your best friend is taken care of. Where is the camera? I'm always, I still friends, I still don't get it. But anyways, um, think of me as the matchmaker. I will find the best agent, or even if you already know an agent, but if you come to me first, I will matchmaker that agent friend of yours to that home buyer, home seller friend of yours, and I will get them together and they will handle the transaction with confidence because I matchmaker them together. That is called our referral. <laughs> I hope I'm explaining that right. See, this is why I love to come in here because I can be goofy and not have to be professional and be like, yes and then be in my professional manner. Cause you guys know I'm so like, I'm like a kid. Okay, four minutes. How did four minutes go up there? All right, friends, I'll see you soon. Hopefully in a day or two. And if not, you, you call me cause you, you guys know my phone number. You text me. That wasn't a middle finger. That was just the first one. You text me and say, Diane, you need to upload content. Otherwise you're gonna lose me as your subscriber. Because girl, you you got too many things going on in your life. But now that you guys have my info, let me know if you have friends or family that's wanting to sell or buy a home. And believe me, my face here on a Simply Simple Life, it's not the same face I have with my real job, okay? This is like my, you guys are like my pretend friends. I talk in front of the camera hoping that nobody watches me, but sometimes people watch. And I don't realize how silly I am, but I love being silly with you guys because I'm always serious all the time, you know? And sometimes I need to be silly. Five minutes, oh my God, Diane, you talk too much. Aloha, friends, bye-bye.